Welcome to another review of 4 Minute Book Review. Today I'm going to talk about the book called How to Give Up Plastic One Bottle at a Time. Uh, I think at this point of time I, I thought that this book had to be reviewed because we are talking about plastics which is a major problem right up with global warming as an issue. So uh, I wanted to review this book as well as bring awareness about how much plastic we use and let me talk about hard hitting statistics here. In India, uh, especially, we produce around 26,000 tons of plastic every day in India in total. And out of which 60%, which is around 15,000 tons uh, or 14,000 tons, is meant to be recycled. But the problem with recycling is, what happens is, let's say it's, it's a recycling industry with lower grade plastic where they recycle, uh, for example, if we talk about pet bottles, even if they recycle those pet bottles, it is not actually uh, recommended to carry water in the recycled pet bottles. So that's how pathetic the situation is. And uh, this book, How to Give Up Plastic One Bottle at a Time is written by Will McCallum. The plastic waste is right thrown away and we have to put curbs on using the single-use plastics, for example, like plastic spoons uh, and uh, almost like plastic cups, plastic glasses like right from where we drink our uh, soda from and all these and PM Modi uh, who is expected to ban on single waste plastic single use plastics so I hope that really happens uh, fingers crossed for October 2nd which is Gandhi Jayanti so hopefully a big announcement is uh, trying to be coming uh, coming back to the book so uh, let's start about what we can do to uh, stop using plastic there's one single thing we can right now right now start away without not much effort is stop using plastic bottles because they are single-use plastics because you can store them but they are not going to recycle they are not going to degrade for another 500 years imagine so we if we put on all the plastic bottles around like 20,000 bottles are being sold in a single second around the world so that's how much a bigger cause of plastic waste is plastic bottles uh, and let's start about what we like this is the biggest thing we can do is stop using plastic bottles and the other way is use refillable bottles uh, and uh, you can easily get like fashionable bottles right now which is steel and also from different materials which does not cause any harm to the environment uh, and also let's start from the uh, uh, from the rooms where we can start reducing our plastic usage for example let's start with the with the washrooms which is the major cause of our plastic usage uh, there are uh, um, where you can use we i use plastic shampoo bottles i use moisturizers but how do we reduce this plastic usages bring uh, at least for now bring a bigger bottles like one liter bottles of shampoos or moisturizer whatever you can afford to please replace them with the bigger bottles where you can actually reduce the number of plastic bottles you're using and don't please look at the uh, behind a plastic bottle uh, i mean the behind the moisturizer plastic bottle and also the uh, shampoo bottle where there's recycled return uh, it's a symbol where i'll put put a picture right now uh, it talks about different levels of plastics being used there are numbers certain numbers from one to seven given to a plastic bottle uh, three and five please avoid three and five because these are not accepted at the recycling plants which is difficult to recycle so they are uh, from one to um, like high, dens high density polyethylene Make sure you always look at the back of the plastic bottle whenever you are buying any product and make sure it is the best, like look at the checklist you make. Make sure they are the uh, recyclable. Uh, please do a little research on uh, uh, the behind the plastic bottles and write to consumers like if they are not providing any recycled bottles that that's how they can bring effect on. And it always the demand and supply how consumers work. So if we actually as people write down to people and give feedback on using stop banning on plastics and give more recycled products and where they can fill in that's how we can bring a change
the toothbrush we use also is plastic diesel so we always get now i had research uh, if you are staying in hyderabad uh, there's a place called eco store in secunderabad where you can actually go and actually buy all those eco products there's zero plastic being used and you can do those research and go visit a play visit that place sometime when you have time causes of our plastic uh, uh, talking about and in the kitchen specifically uh, we cannot do anything about we having plastic bottles right now which we have to use it as much as possible and probably change our course of action right now because it's high time we change and get back to a uh, 0.5 at least uh, 0.5 at least uh, we cannot go zero plastic because we already have plastic at our home and it's not disposable and it's difficult and uh, uh, and there are no ways to destroy plastic if you talk about burning it causes hydrocarbons to be released and harmful emissions uh, there are certain ways to actually uh, get rid of plastic but there is a nascent stage of research so probably all you can do is let's research on things like how to uh, there is always alternate products to plastic right now uh, or and the biggest way is one stop using plastic bottles second please carry your cutlery kit wherever you go because i see lot of i eat lot of outside food and they use maximum plastic spoons and uh, also plastic cups so these are not recyclable at all and it causes lot of harm to the environment uh, and there are certain blogs where you can follow uh, it's anna mary she is a zero plastic chef she tells you about how to cook all these without plastic all the products which come uh, uh, filled in without plastic uh, for example they do not come in plastic covers there is just how they are zero plastic packaging that's what i mean and the other are uh, uh, plastic free blogs uh, uh, where you can research there are a lot of blogs which tell you how to get rid of plastic and this is a little step we can take and uh, there's also another tip for women who can actually switch back from uh, switch from sanitary napkins and menstrual cups all these research you can actually block or see on the internet why we need to do that uh, and it's uh, we have people i have friends who have switched back uh, switched from sanitary to menstrual cups this all these are like really really uh, effective ways to curb plastic in our life uh, and this is 100% safe because we don't want to throw you tips which is harmful to you as well and to your body so uh, could probably switch and uh, so these are the effects of plastic and these are certain tips given from the book as well uh, and also we are talking about other different ways like uh, this is the way you start about don't do all at a time but probably try to change one at a time and also unlearn your habits if you are using any plastic gadget and uh, yeah so plastic spoons plastic bags uh, uh plastic toothbrushes this is all where you can start you know trying alternatives of plastic and also please try to bring awareness among your people and also reject any plastic goods if you are actually buying something and we often see we often have a misca- misconception that tetra packs are not plastic but i'm telling you there are two layers of plastic already added in the tetra pack so that is not recyclable and that is almost having an effect of using a plastic almost so they are not recyclable they just it's a probably a, a tactic played by corporates but tetra pack is also not advisable uh, if you are going plastic free and also things like uh, i already talked about recycling numbers and uh, uh, before i uh, end this video or uh, before we try to start uh, telling people let's just all pledge all the subscribers from this video and whoever is watching with this video let's all pledge to minimize the plastic usage in our life and also bring awareness of what plastic can do to our to our environment and uh, let's make sure we reduce plastic as much as we can in our lives right start from right little things from our home uh use vegetables which are carry a jute bag that's all i mean it's it's not uncool right now so please carry the 
cotton bags and jute bags wherever you go shopping for that is the little thing we can start off and that's the easiest thing to do right after stop using plastic bags plastic bags and plastic bottles so i hope everyone pledges to minimize plastic in their life and at least bring 2.5% of you know plastic usage in our life rather than going with everything with plastic so we will also try to bring in more tips in this channel like what we can do about plastic but this is a really really big big problem in india really okay. so this is how we can do and us itself can only recycle 12% of its plastic waste and china has said before we used to send all our waste to i mean the countries we most of the countries used to send for recycling at china and china has said no we are not going to do this because we are already overburdened with our plastic recycling centers so they stopped taking our plastic uh, uh, waste and trying to recycle them so that's how badly we are affected by plastic right in india and everywhere else so hope you actually try start implementing the uh, non usage of plastic and finding alternatives to them and do your own research that's what little effort i ask you from uh, request you to do and uh, you can also i have also recommended a store where you can actually buy these things and there's also uh, if you have to buy the quick switch right now uh you can start from toothbrushes which is like you can buy it from online as well there's a, a, a company which is called switch fix which will actually tell you uh, uh, which uh, it's producing a bamboo like so that's how you can do and we'll talk about what we can do about already plastic goods we have if there's any recycling centers i know of i'll probably put an information here so uh it's more about not about the book review but also about an awareness video so hope you really like it and if you want to encourage please hit the like button and subscribe and please if you at least do not do this make sure you tell people that you have watched this video and tell all these hard hitting facts to them and hopefully they change and bring a change so thank you for being part of the change and see you in another video and another book review probably talk about another non fiction book thank you so much for watching the video